Greetings explorers. Welcome to another look into the old world. In this video we're going to be taking a look at some old photographs of the Bronx, New York. I recently did a, a live broadcast with Lucius Aurelian um, and he covered a section on the Bronx um, and he really got into d in depth on the devastation that occurred in the uh, in the previous century, especially in the latter half of the previous century. Um, but I wanted to highlight some of the uh, infrastructure and architecture that once existed. Some still does, but uh, most of it's gone now. So I wanted to share that with you here in this video. As we take a look at the uh, greater New York area, we can zone in on the Bronx in this area here. So I'm not familiar with the area. I've never been there. Um, I'm sure there are many of you out there that have and that could add a lot more flavor to the story and I always I always welcome you to do that in the comment section. And I've titled this video a Bronx fairy tale because many of the visuals that you're going to see here um, really do look like something out of a fairy tale. Not something I would ever have associated with uh, the New York area. Here we're looking at the Gould Library. Um, part of the university. This one still stands. Here we have a look at the interior of that, the impeccable interior, looking much like a Capitol building. This is the St. Augustine Parish, looking very familiar, or very similar, I should say, to this one. I don't have the name of that one. Apologies. A little peek at what the uh, Bronx may have looked like or will would have looked like. You can see all the brick streets here and all the uh, all the living spaces and shops down below and the streetcars. A little look at Old World Bronx. This is the American Banknote Printing Plant. 1911 this photo is taken. So you're starting to see now that castle look that we're going to see much more of as we move forward. You're also seeing that's a slope here, um, indic indicative of uh, what many of us have dubbed the mud flood in this research. And you can see some of the windows here and they just disappear. And then this row of windows ends up disappearing as well. So that's interesting. This is the botanical garden. Part of a park space. Here we have a look at it. Oh, apologies, this is the library again. Going back to this one. Jumped around a little bit. But this gives you a good modern day look at what we're dealing with with uh, the building materials themselves and how impeccable that work really is. And we have a whole plethora of uh, schools. Um, post-secondary and uh, secondary and junior highs as well in this uh, file. This is the St. John's College. And we have a museum attached to the Botanical Garden. If you know anything more about this area, um, yeah, please uh, throw your uh, um, throw what you know in the comments section. I'd like to hear more about it. I just kind of wanted to get this uh, file out to share the visuals because these are really quite something. In many ways, you might say they're otherworldly. But when you do this research, you recognize that uh, much of this um, architecture is everywhere, really. This is the Catholic Protectory. We have a photograph here. And I'd like to thank viewer Dan for uh, sending me links to many of these uh, photos. I appreciate that. And I uh, welcome any of you to do the same. I'd be happy to put a file together and uh, make a video for people to see the visuals in, uh, in an area that you're familiar with. You can see on the tops of these, look at these very, very interesting shapes. The Catholic protectory and an interior shot of that. And you can see all these young, the youth, right? Um, again, we get into that, uh, the orphan narrative and the, why were there so many uh, parentless children at the turn of the last century? What was really going on? And is it possible that we were reseeded in some way? These are things that are, need to be seriously considered, I think, as this research builds.
You're seeing all the hallmarks of the old world here in the Bronx. The old borough hall. The old city hall, I suppose. Check out the, uh, the stair work here. This looks like a lower entrance, a lower level entrance into the structure. Pretty amazing. Amazing um, landscaping that you see. The stone walls, the rock walls, um, sometimes brick. The old courthouse. See the statue up front. Still stands, a pale shadow of what it once was. This is just a quick look at, I do believe it's the Croton, Croton Walk. Of course, correct me if I'm wrong. But just check out the megalithic block work there along the bank. And as you have to ask yourself, who did that? And why? And how? And when? This would be the Daughters of Jacob Nursing Hospital. Let's take a look at it from above and you get a real sense of uh, how amazing the structure is. This is a better photograph. We could zoom in a little bit and again see the, the stone wall work here. You can see it on the sides too. Really amazing structure. St. Michael Academy. It really does start to feel like a fairy tale, doesn't it? It's not it's not the picture of the past that that we're uh, we're raised with. It's uh, unfamiliar to us. We're not we're not to uh, associate the past with this type of architecture, I think. This is a high school. DeWitt Clinton. Inside this high school they have a pipe organ. It really makes you wonder, doesn't it? Why? Why on earth would they have a pipe organ? You know, according to the uh, mainstream historical narrative, why on earth would they have a pipe organ? When you do this research, you realize why there's a pipe organ in there, why you'll find pipe organs in in uh, mall spaces, in almost every church that you find, and you find them in these schools. Here's a look at the Bronx Zoo. Again, looking very old world. And you have to wonder, was uh, were zoos a part of the old world? Or is this something that's been repurposed? Take a look at the uh, herringbone style brickwork on the interior there. Pretty fancy for a place to house elephants. Then you have this magnificent looking uh, elephant sculpture on the outside of the building. So it, has, it really makes you wonder. And when I did that live broadcast with Lucius, um, it really was difficult to look at many of those photographs and the devastation that the Bronx went through. Um, a very, very ugly thing went on there, and it's very difficult to, uh, and very difficult to believe the explanation that we're given. So I definitely thought it was worth sharing some of this. This is the Fonthill Castle, as it stands today, and a quick look as, at how it once stood. Looking very similar, not much aging going on there. Here, this is a part of the Fort Schuyler, Schuyler Bastions. Again, apologies if I got that wrong. Someone will give me the phonetics, I think, in the comment section. But take a look at the stonework, the blockwork. Here we have a color photo of it. Interesting. This is Gould's Mausoleum. This were, this is a junior high, Herman Ritter Junior High. Not like any junior high I know of. Why on earth would you have to adorn the junior high, the front of the junior high, like this? Really spectacular. We still see some horse and buggies down here. And uh, lower windows all the way down the sides. You have to scratch your head. Calling this the High Bridge. I can understand why. There's perfection right there. And then you've got a tower on the back here. Across the bridge. Fairy tale esque to be sure. And New York is a place I've really uh, hesitated to dive into because there's just so much. You really do have to break it down into boroughs or subdivisions of boroughs. Um, 
I, I did a video on the New York hotels. I'll put that in the description as well. Um, but there's just so much to dig into. It's much like Chicago, even more so. Or at least on par with the old world Chicago. This is the home of the friendless. There's a better look at it. And you get these odd descriptions for some of these buildings. Back at the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. Home of the Friendless. Mount St. Ursula Academy. So many of these academies. Why? Housing all these young people. Boys and girls. Educating them. And then eventually releasing them out into the world. With whatever knowledge they've... Uh, imparted onto those children. It's not such a stretch to uh, understand how we may have been reset. There's the, uh, this is the Kingsbridge Armory. The, the, here's a look at it in the modern day. Again, looking like something that could easily house some sort of dirigible or blimp or airship if you put that into the context of old world air travel and the, the entry into that armory here. Fairy tale castle. Very, looking very out of place. Again, to what you may consider to be the Bronx. They blind us with so much pop culture and Hollywood referencing that we don't really get to envision what these places once looked like. Or in many cases, still do look like. Now, are they telling us this is a Salvation Army? They don't get much nicer than that for Salvation Armies. Definitely notice a lot of these uh, cylindrical style. This is octagonal, but very similar. Um, cylindrical or octagonal with these little onion domes. You'll see more of those as we move forward here as well. Salvation Army, really? Now we've jumped a little bit, let's go to the exterior. This is Morris High School, which we were just looking at the interior of here, again having a pipe organ in a high school. In a modern day look at it, of course they've got the shroud over the upper section here. Must be doing some very, very slow renovation work. Taking longer to renovate the top, no doubt, than it, than it took to build the structure, they'll tell us. And you can see all the stonework here. And a very similar situation as we saw earlier on the city hall. We have a lower entrance below the main entrance and two stairs wrapping around that. Now a hospital looking quite similar to the, to the uh, school before that. Morsenia Hospital. And looking like we have gargoyle protrusions on the top here. Interesting structure. The Mott Haven train station, built in 1886, torn down in 1964. So you've got about just under 80 years for this, this thing to have stood. Take a look at how impeccable the brickwork is here, how perfect it is. And then you have to question really the need to tear such a structure down. They'll say progress, they'll say real estate value, they'll say um, poor building materials, structurally unsound. But when you look at these photos, we know that's not the case. We know that there's something more to the story. And that's why we peer into these. Like peering into the past, trying to pull it into the present and understand and there we have our year marker to let us know for certain that it was built in that year. The Naval Training School. Again, a castle. Remember I mentioned those octagonal or cylindrical towers. It's a bit of a bird's eye for you. And there's a really good look at it. We have the double towers here, four of them. Quite a spectacular structure. Some interesting landscaping going on here, looking like stairs, I believe, there. Another look 
even the uh, these posts here are looking quite quite magnificent. Light posts. Another public school, Kingsbridge Public School. Another school. This I just have it down as Public School 277, whatever that means. And remember, this isn't really even an in-depth look at the Bronx. This is a selection of photos. Um, I'm sure if I dug any deeper, I could easily double the file size. This is, the, again, the front of that, uh, that school, 277. Now we're looking at an orphan's asylum. So we get back to that old narrative of why, why, the, why the need for these massive structures to house these orphans. There's much more to the story. Were they coming out of cabbages? Was the stork delivering the orphans? Were they coming out of holes in the ground? Were they all being given up for adoption? Or for... Was it the foundling wheels who are just so busy that they had to create these... Uh, these asylums? It's certainly a question that needs to be uh, pondered on. We do need some answers on this. The answers we're given are just insufficient. And this is from 1885, we're told, this photo, again, of the asylum, orphan asylum. We have the very weathered brick streets for 1885, very well-established streets, fence work, curb work. Very well established. Not really dirty Victorian era that we've been told. Very, actually looking very uh, pristine. St. Stephen's. Coming to the end of the file here. The Union Reformed Church. There you can see the stonework again. Really amazing stuff. A Bronx fairy tale indeed. And here's the armory again, the Kingsbridge Armory, looking like the roof is... Either we can't see it from this angle, that might be it. I'm not sure. But this is an immense, immense structure. Some of the armories in the New York area that I've come across are just amazing. The 71st comes to mind as well. I did a uh, YouTube short on that one, the 71st Armory. All right, the Webb's Home for Shipbuilders. We'll end with this one. I don't really know what that means. Is this just where the shipbuilders lived when they're not building ships? Let's take a look at that fairy tale castle. Amazing. And this photo apparently before it was uh, it was raised for its real estate value. So this is just a quick look at a at the Bronx, the fairy tale version of the, what the Bronx once was. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.